Today we are going to examine Case 7. Case 7 describes several proposed personality tests using functional magnetic resonance imaging, fMRI. We examine the ethical concerns associated with the case. From a technology standpoint, there's nothing unethical about functional MRI. Assuming that the technology can be proven to be safe, reliable, and accurate, its use in personality testing is generally ethical. The concern arises in determining where it would be appropriate to use these tests. The results of these tests are perfectly ethical if used by individuals or corporations with the intention of internal improvement. For example, personality tests can help individuals choose a career path. Also, corporations could use these tests to aid in team building exercises or to suggest performance strategies for their employees. The results of these tests, however, are potentially unethical if corporations use them for recruitment purposes or insurance and financial institutions use the tests to screen applicants for pre-existing diseases or high-risk psychological traits. When using fMRI to perform these scans, the user is unable to control their response. Compared to traditional personality or mental capacity tests, where the person's experience, ingenuity, or hard work can affect the resulting score, these tests are completely out of the person's control. Similarly, because the fMRI scanner is capable of so many tests, it is possible for extra information to be extracted that was not originally disclosed to the patient or applicant. For instance, it is possible to detect a number of brain diseases with fMRI, such as multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, schizophrenia, stroke, cancerous tumors, and many others. For these reasons, we find the use of fMRI versions of personality and mental capacity tests to be potentially unethical for recruitment purposes, since it is akin to holding someone else's race, ethnicity or disability against them. This argument is reminiscent of recent health care debates over pre-existing conditions as well. Certain careers in military, national security, or performance dependent sectors might reasonably make exceptions to these rules. Lie detection using fMRI, however, is perfectly ethical since it is similar to the polygraph test, which is considered to be an acceptable test and has a sufficient number of associated regulations. The Employee Polygraph Protection Act of 1988, for example, prohibits most po private polygraph use and highly regulates government use of this technology. Certain aspects of fMRI personality tests have the potential to be abused and must be carefully regulated, even if the tests are determined to be ethical. Because fMRI scans are medical grade tests that can be used to diagnose many diseases, the resulting images should be treated like any other medical record and should fall under the protection of HIPAA and any other human subject research standards as determined by the Public Health Service Act published by the Department of Health and Human Services. In summary, the use of fMRI based personality tests could be ethical if used in the appropriate situations. However, care must be taken to avoid taking advantage of patients and applicants.